Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this 9th question of exercise 1.3 and the question says you have to classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. Now, before solving this, let us again define what are rational and what are irrational numbers. As we have already discussed in the previous videos that when we talk about rational numbers, the first definition is rational numbers are basically the numbers which can be written in a form of p upon q where p and q should be integers and q should not be equal to 0. So this is the first definition for rational. So except this, all numbers are irrational. Now there is another definition for rational and irrational numbers. When we talk about rational, this is in the form of p upon q, that is, this is a fraction, and fraction are simply decimals. Now, there is another definition for rational numbers. When we talk about decimals, there are three types of decimals. The first is terminating decimals. That terminates after some time, like 0.2 or 0.28. These are terminating. The second is, the second are non-terminating but recurring like 0.232323. These are known as non-terminating, obviously these are not terminating but recurring. 23 is repeating itself. So this, these are the second type of decimals and there is another type of decimal that is non-terminating and non-recurring that is 0 0.385732 and so on this is a number that is non-terminating and non-recurring there is no digit that is repeating itself now in this step in these three types of decimals, this first two are known as rational number. Means if a decimal terminates or if the decimal is not terminating but repeating, it is known as rational numbers. But the third one, if the number is not terminating and non recurring, it is known as rational numbers. That is clear? Now, you have to find out in these five parts which are rational and which are irrational. So obviously, if I see this number, obviously this is terminating. After some point of time, this terminates. So we know that by this definition, this should be rational. This second one, again, this is 7.478478 here, this term. 478 is repeating itself but this is non-terminating so this will be non-terminating but recurring so again this will be rational number now in this part fifth that is fifth part this is one point this is one zero one zero zero one zero 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 one so obviously this is non-terminating but non-recurring that is no number is repeating itself so obviously by this definition, this should be irrational. Okay, now let's talk about these two. Now, if you want to find the under root of 225 by division method, we know that 225 will have to make pairs and if no pair is possible, uh, let this number single. Now that will be 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1 then you have to subtract this will the 2 minus 1 will be 1 and you have to copy this here this will be 25 and you have to add the same number which you have multiplied. Now you have to think of a digit multiplying with same digit give us 125 and that will be 5 when 5 multiplied by this this will become 25 multiplied by 5 will give us 125 and subtracting this remainder will be 0. So the next is 15. So obviously root 2 
225 can be written as 15 and 15 can be written as 15 upon 1 and by, the def by this first definition 15 can be written as 15 upon 1 so that can be written as in the form of p upon q so obviously this will again will be called as a rational number now when you talk about under root 23 this will be an irrational number because when we find the under root of 23 it's uh, because here the under root of 25 is an integer that is 15 so this will be a rational but we have to but if we find the under root of 23 the this kind of number will come that is it will be non terminating and non repeating if you find the under root of 23 so making a pair this will be 4 4 times 16 7 now you have to add the same thing that will be 8 and 7 cannot be divided by 8 so we have to place a decimal here also and in this case we copy a pair so this will be 7 so you have to multiply with some digit with this same digit to get 700 so this will be uh, around 7 times when we multiply 87 by 7 that will be 609 and the remainder will be uh, okay this can be divided by 8 so it will be 8 into 64 6 okay so you have to multiply this with 7 otherwise it is increasing so multiplied by 7 the result will be so the remainder will be 1 and the remainder will be 91 because now if you again uh, copy another pair of zeros so obviously this number here it was 23 here it was 70 700 here it was 9 1100 so obviously this number will keep on increasing same as this here it was 4 here it was 87 and here it will increase so because this number is increasing and this number is increasing so obviously uh, after point this will won't terminate because this will never divide completely this number so but again this will not reoccur because this number is increasing and this number is increasing so there is no point that after some point it will reoccur it will keep on increasing or the number won't repeat itself so here we can say that this number will be irrational so this is how you can solve this last question thank you